about 10 minutes ago, the Senate passed the uh, immigration reform bill. You're kidding me. Nope. At, at, 10 minutes ago, I, and it was overwhelming. What were the numbers? I mean, how many for and how many against? I can't give you the exact numbers because I was calling you at the same time that they were announcing it on television. They said it was overwhelming and didn't even need all the vote. That it was a with done deal when they reached 51 was early in the vote. Do the American people realize that uh, how devastating this is going to be economically for uh, the average working Joe? And well, let's let's take two or three of the things that you just brought up a moment ago. Number one, this immigration reform bill. Who gets hurt the most by this bill? Who gets hurt the most? It's the minorities who are currently here in the United States of America. They suffer right now from the highest levels of unemployment. They have the biggest spread now between the people who have wealth and the people who don't have wealth. And, and they are not with enough education to get the jobs that are open today. So in this immigration bill, as they were just talking about on television, one, they are asking for one and a half billion dollars to hand to the education system and to the teachers union who is absolutely 100 percent behind the democrat party two is that they're asking for another half million more immigrants to be let into this country with both skills and non-skills so they're going to be competing for those few jobs that are open in the united states and the ones that are open are engineering jobs they're technical jobs scientific jobs and the number three, the employers who want to hire low-skill workers. Dr. Manning, are you still there? I'm still here. I'm just listening. Right. Mike, go ahead. It, you it, got the mic. They're going to now be competing for those very jobs that the people who are unemployed and low-skilled in the United States are trying to get. So when you look at the unemployment rate up about 33%, and you look at the underemployment rate, for minorities, which is much higher than 33%, we just said okay to more immigrants to take those jobs away from the minorities in the United States. Well, you know, Mike, I, I, I posted up uh, as a separate entity of our interview going back a couple of weeks ago where you explained the five monkey experiment uh, and the cold water and the fighting of the monkey who reached for the banana. It's on our website. I don't know if you've seen it. If not, I'll mail it to you personally so you can look it out. I extracted that out of our total interview because I thought it was so powerful and interesting. Uh, but these people are destroying themselves by voting for the Democrat Party and Democrat policy. Uh, well, this is going to create let's, havoc. Let's go to topic number two because they tie together. Obamacare. Today some numbers came in and 66%. Almost two-thirds of Americans don't want Obamacare now. They want to do away with it. That They want to do away with major portions of it. They want it recalled. That's a huge number, two-thirds. But yeah, we're proceeding on with Obamacare. When you look at and you peel back who are the people who don't want Obamacare and the people who do want Obamacare, there are roughly 70 to 75 percent of Americans who are Caucasian, and you've got roughly 25% of Americans who are minorities, either Hispanic descent or black or um, Asian descent. And that 25% are the ones who want Obamacare, but yet the, the uh, Caucasian portion don't want Obamacare. So you put this combination of things together that we just passed a bill bringing in more immigrants to the United States, we're passing a bill. A lot. We're going to allow the ones that are here to seek some form of citizenship, which then they will be able to compete legitimate, legitimately with the minorities in this country for those jobs. And we're turning around and saying, and now we've also got Obamacare here that is costing every American much more money than anybody could have dreamt, that it's in the $10 trillion level now over the next 10 to 20 years as to how much it will cost Americans for increased insurance rates, increased medical care coverage, and increased taxes to pay for Obamacare. Right. You put, put, uh, put those two things together, and the people who, who are saying yes to this government, the ones who are saying, yes, we like you, Barack Obama, are the ones who are getting hurt the most.
And they're saying, and yes, way. we want this very thing in Obamacare that's going to hurt them the most, because the other folks that have jobs, they get it paid for by their employees, their employers, and, and the immigration reform is hurting them. Turn that around with what the Supreme Court just said, as you posted a moment ago, about you have split feelings about the Supreme Court. I have no split feelings about the Supreme Court. It is obvious what they're doing, is they're trying to make it so this country becomes uh, one with the new world order, and we, we're eliminating our country borders, we're eliminating those things that are married, America, America, including DOMA and gay marriage, so that we can blend in with the world at the expense to American citizens. You put all that together, and that is exactly what they're doing. They're saying it is more important for us to be world citizens, part of the new world order in the world, than it is to take care of Americans. Mike, I don't want you to think that somehow I'm, I'm patronizing you, please. But you always come up with these extraordinary explanations. That last segment where you said the Supreme Court on the bench, you didn't use the term bench, but to uh, eliminate our nation or country's borders and 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 then integrated that statement with the fact of our becoming a part of the new world order. The images that that language conjures up, that we no longer have national borders, that we are Americans separated from Canadians or Europeans or others, and that the new world order will know no borders was absolutely fascinating. I'm going to run that as a personal clip on the Manning Report for quite some time to come.